everybody so today's the day it is the first challenge um for the release of the so shabby kit um i released a video yesterday that showed you the kit so i'm not going to do a walkthrough today but i said that throughout the month of july there will be some challenges and each week there'll be a new challenge and some freebies so i wanted to share that with you today so the first set of freebies for this week are these pages so this is the first page um and it has those beautiful sewing machines in the background so that's in the paid kit um but i've altered it slightly by kind of adding this kind of shabby overlay and some stitching so that's the first freebie page that you can grab this will be in my Kofi shop and also in the line dot arrow facebook group so um if you're in the line dot arrow facebook group then you can head over there and pick these up um or if you don't use facebook or you're not part of the group then you can head over to my Kofi shop all of that obviously will be linked down below so that's the first page and then the second page is to do with the challenge now do ignore the ink marks down the side i've been um having a bit of a fight with my printer this morning um but the challenge is to dress up a mannequin that is the week one challenge. So I do have some dresses which um, you can embellish further. So I've got some flowers, I've got bows, I have got some um, different labels, but you can be as creative with this as you like. Um, but the idea is, is to dress up a mannequin. Now, if you have bought the paid kit or if you decide to buy the paid kit, you also get this mannequin in there. So it's a bit different to the black one that's in the freebie. Plus, you also get these two dresses, which um, also fit the mannequin. Uh, but these are plain just for um, you to decorate. So you can either colour them in or I'm going to show you another option in just a moment. Right, so um, I'm actually going to be working on this and making some mannequins myself for the challenge just to give you some ideas and hopefully some inspiration if you want to have a go. If you do decide to take part and you download the freebies and you want to decorate a uh, mannequin, then please, please, please post your pictures in the line.arrow Facebook group. I will be setting up an event in there. Um, and then when you post your pictures, please use the hashtag, hashtag so shabby and then um at the end of the three weeks after all the three challenges um we've got a fourth week where we're just finishing off projects and then at the very end of july i'll be doing a winner's drawing so anybody that has posted any of their makes using either the freebies or the kit um your name will go into a winner's drawing so if you want to take part in that fun then like i said just post your pictures in the line.arrow facebook group using the hashtag Right, let me grab my board and then we can get started with decorating some of these. OK, so I have done a little bit of prep work and I have been cutting out bits from both the main paid kit and the freebies. Um, these are the vintage ladies. I'm not going to be using them for this project, but they will be coming up in something else. Um, and I won't need this decorative strip, so I'm just going to remove that as well. Um, I have the different words from... Uh, these are from the paid kit. These are from the freebie. So I'm just going to put those to the side for a moment. Um, and I wanted to show you what I've done so far. So just to show you different ways that you might be able to decorate. So this was, let me bring that back in. So that was this dress. And then all I've done is I've added some of the um, sewing pattern tissue paper. And I've kind of ruffled it up and stuck it along the bottom. Then I've got a piece of lace for the waistline. I've used that bow up at the top here. Um, a little bit of cheesecloth in the background just to add some kind of texture behind and then a couple of blingy gems just to really dress that up and then as I say these are made to fit where the mannequin is so obviously oops that's where the straps are so that's where the arms would come out and then they can fit on there so you can stick that to a page it can be a tuck you can even make it into um, a tag if you like and then you can use some the backspace for some writing that's entirely up to you. Uh, this one is the blank one from the paid kit. So if I just grab that page. So that's this one here um, that I have cut out. And then for this one, I've seen a trick on, I think it's Instagram actually, where people use washi tape to decorate. And I really wanted to have a go. So I did. 
Now I can tell you that this is no way as good as what I have seen it been done on Instagram. However, I am still really pleased with how it looks. And I will be having a go at another one of these so I can show you um, how I've done it with this one here. So I'm going to keep these two to the side just so you can kind of see those. And then I'm going to work on these two today. So this one I will do in a moment. I think I'll start with the washi tape one. Now for this one, you're just going to need to select different washi tapes. So I've got this one, which is kind of a pinky marbly, which I was going to use for the main um, part of the dress. So this ruffles and then around the neckline and the sleeves. Then I've got this, which is just a solid sort of peachy colour that I thought went quite nice. I was going to use this to kind of come around the edge underneath those. And then I've got some script, which I was going to use at the bottom. And then I'm undecided what I want to do up here. I don't know whether I'm going to use the peach or the text. So we'll kind of see how that looks. So essentially, all you do is, first of all, find the end. Find the end. There it is. And then you just place strips across like so. Uh, and obviously the nice thing about washi tape is that it is translucent so you can see through. And then you just go down the entire dress. And then obviously you want to line it up as close as you can. I did slightly overlap mine. Um, on the other one but the idea is, is that you can see the details of the dress coming in from underneath but you then obviously have the pattern of whatever washi tape that you're using over the top and as I say there are some amazing amazing examples you might be able to find them on Instagram possibly even on Pinterest I imagine um, there are some people that do some really beautiful work um, with this. I am doing this the most basic way, but I just wanted um, a different way, really, to kind of dress these up. Something that might be a little bit of fun. So that's those. Um, and then all you need to do is, using a craft knife, you are then going to cut into the washi around any lines that you... Um, obviously want to remove the washi from. So I'm going to grab, I've got a smaller craft mat, um, only because this kind of slides this glass mat, so this is probably a little bit better. So I'm just gonna pop this down and I'm going to start cutting. So, so along this belt, now you don't obviously want to apply too much pressure, um, just enough really to cut into the washi tape. And then around the flower and to the edge. And then I'm going to do the same for this bit. So I'm just going to cut from the edge outwards just so it's easier to peel the washi. And then follow that curve. Now this might be too fiddly for you. That's fine. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to give other options. Uh, these black and white ones you can, of course, just colour on. So if you're somebody that loves um, uh, Copic colouring, they're quite popular at the moment, then that might be what you decide to do. Um, but yeah, I just thought the washi tape idea was what I had in mind when um, I had these dresses in the kit. And then you just slowly peel up and then hopefully, like I say, you've cut enough and it just pulls away. And then you kind of get the shape that you wanted. So like I said, it is a bit of a fiddly job. It does take a little bit of time. But I think once it's done, it looks really effective. Oh, I didn't go around that flower. That might help. Okay, and then we should be able to pull this bit off. Because we didn't want that belt, did we? So the belt will stay black. 
and that just peels away. Now, annoyingly, my washi tape has obviously just peeled that bit off, but that's not a problem because I can go back in with a black pen, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, the only bit that I need to do for here is I'm just going to, again, just follow that belt line around the bottom and then around the flower. And then again, just gently. Oops. Gently peel that off. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is trim along these to get rid of those bits. And now obviously I need to do the curves down at the bottom as well. So that's what I'm going to do next, just to get rid of those bits. So again, I'm just going to follow the lines of the dress. Again, just cutting into the washi, but not too deep. You obviously don't want to cut all the way through the um, base as well. Now I have printed on um, 160 GSM, so it is thicker than copier paper. Because uh, again, you don't want it too thin um, of a base, otherwise you will end up cutting through. Okay. Okay, so that's how the dress is looking at the moment. And as you can see, you can still see the details behind, but you've got that beautiful pattern from the washi tape on there as well. I am just going to quickly go in with my fine liner just to go around where that line was there. And obviously just colour in where that belt was. Right, so now to move on to the other bits. So um, I said I wanted to do the sleeves and the neckline in this as well. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so there's the top part and the neckline done. Right, so I said I was going to use this just to kind of go along the border here. So I'm going to do that next. So I'm just going to try and line it up with those curves. actually going to do this in two parts um, because of the way that this kind of arches round um, I need to do it in two sections so I'm going to do that 
bit first. And then like that. And it's only because of the way that it arches around. So I've just done it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the actual arches at the bottom of the dress. And then I'm going to come out just a little bit and follow those arches again. okay so that just gives it a nice little border there and then all I'm going to do is where I've perhaps come up a little bit short I'm just going to fill that in with my pen And then I'm just going to do the rest the same, just so it obviously blends in a bit better and looks a bit more uniform like it's supposed to look like that. OK, so we've got those bits. And then at the very bottom, uh, I was going to use the script. So again, I'm just going to place this on there. Ah, I've run out. Okay, so I'm not going to use the script because <laughs> we don't have enough. Okay, let me just run off to my stash and see what else I've got. Okay, so instead of washi, I'm thinking I might put this lace along the bottom. So I'm going to sew that on, I think because uh, I think that will look quite pretty. Um, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the lace up the top as well. So I'm just going to trim that up here. And then, as I say, I'm going to sew that on. I do need to do a bit more sewing later on, so I'll do all my sewing together. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to hold it in place along there. Whoops. And I'm just going to pop it. Whoops just where those arches are okay and then I want a little bit for up the top now obviously this lace is far too big for that so I am going to trim it down a little bit Let's get some bigger scissors. So I'm thinking popping that up there and then I can put some bling up at the top as well. I'm just going to trim that slightly. I'm just going to add a teeny bit of glue just to hold it in place until it gets sewn. Okay, so as I say, I'm going to sew that and then I'm going to add something up the top here just to kind of sort that neckline out a little bit. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you another way that you can colour in using washi tapes to kind of um, block colour bits. Right, so on to dress number two. Now this one already is quite pretty with lots of florals on. So what I thought I was going to do with this one, instead of 
um, being able to pop it on a mannequin base. So what I'm thinking is this is going to get stuck into my journal and then I might have these in pockets where you can kind of um, pop them on. So I don't know whether to make like you do with the um, paper dolls, like little flaps that you can hook them on. I'm undecided with exactly how I'm going to attach them to my bodice yet. But this one I thought I might make into a tag. So I have got some bits out already. Um, the flowers are obviously included in the freebies. I am using one of the words from the paid kit though, only because I think it makes more sense. It's called flower. It has flowers on there. Um, I've got a little bit of cheesecloth, a little bit of um, pink eyelash trim. And I have a large uh, card base here, which um, I'm going to use as my tag. Now this is three and a half by five and three quarters tall and then obviously just has the sides trimmed. I was thinking of having the cheesecloth on there and then this on top. Uh, I, again, I will be doing some sewing and then somehow just playing around with these, having these on there and then the word flowers um, but what I might do just to kind of decorate this back piece um, is use some of the um, oh my goodness what's it called the tissue paper from the sewing patterns that's what I mean to say so I'm going to get some sewing pattern tissue paper because I think I'm going to cover the base in that just to so it's not brown um, and then yeah So I've got a lot of tissue paper, so I'm just going to tear off a little bit. And I'm going to glue this down. So I've got no problems with there being some creases and things in there, but I do want, obviously, everything stuck down nicely. I'm just going in on those corners. Okay, and then since I've got pinks here, but blues is obviously... Um, a colour that's used in the kit. Um, I'm going to get some blue, I don't know if I'm going to use ink or paint yet, and I'm just going to do some splatters and some other bits on there. Okay, so I ideally want a paler blue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of mixing of some ink and some acrylic paint, and then obviously add some white to it just to tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to move some bits out of the way, because obviously I don't want everything getting covered now this is a glass mat so it's nice and easy to clean so I'm just going to smush some ink in and do the teeniest tiniest bit of blue I only want splatters so I don't need a lot little bit of white, like I said, just to knock it back slightly. And some water. That's a bit of blue, isn't it? sure how well this is going to flick but we'll see and a bit more
takes a bit more. Okay, that looks good enough. I am just going to wipe that clean though. Okay, this I'm going to put to the side to dry. Okay, so while the tag is drying where I've done the paints, I'm going to work on this one. So I do have this one spare um, and I think I'm going to use this one as a base. Um, just so that I can stick this down and do some sewing. And obviously get all of that in there as well. So I'm going to attach the cheesecloth first. like that then I'm going to attach this down and sandwich those bits together Now, do I want to sew first before I pop that on? Um, I think I do. So before I do those, I am actually going to sew. I'm also just going to trim this slightly, just because we've got quite a lot coming out there. better um, okay so I am going to sew around her I'm also going to sew on this one so I'm going to do some stitching down at the bottom then I can obviously trim this a little bit better a little bit of stitching at the top here and then we can add some bling at the top and get this tag finished right okay so that's the sewing done on both of them so on this one I've done a zigzag stitch across the um, waistband and then I've kind of gone around with a straight stitch and gone a little bit sort of wibbly wobbly and gone round twice on that one uh, and then in this one I've just done the zigzag stitch along there just so obviously it touches that there and then I zigzag stitched along here as well right so let's finish these off we want to add some bling along the top here and then obviously we need to get her stuck to um, the tag so we were going to have this one down here at the bottom and then that one as well with flowers kind of going across there so I'm going to stick those down That one goes up there and this one's going to be hanging off a bit at the bottom so I only want glue along this top section and then the word flowers going there okay so that's that one we might be able to still add some bling to that I haven't decided yet let's go and get the gems then for the topper here okay so I have this whole reel of gems now I do not add or do not tend to add much bling to my projects it's not really my thing however it's always useful to have so I'm going to I think I'm just going to have one row of gems. I need it to about that one. I'm going to snip up there. This is the one thing that I love about this roll. 
is that you can obviously cut it down to size. Now the only reason I keep it in that plastic wrapping is because when I tried to take it out uh, before, the whole thing just started unravelling and I got into a bit of a panic so um, I just shoved it straight back in and now I just pull out the bits that I need from it. So that I'm going to feed around the neckline and glue that down. Just a small little dab of glue on the back of each gem and then at least that way I can manipulate them and move them about. Put a stamping block on top of there just to lay it flat and hold that in place. And get rid of those threads. Okay, so we've got those on there, and then we've got this. Um, now I think I might just cut off that three. we can maybe just pop those down there just because all of the others have little gems on so I think it just sort of ties it all together quite nicely okay so that's that one right let's get this tag back and see how it's drying so I have still got some wet bits so I am just going to give it a quick blast with my heat gun I'm going to do that off camera though because it gets very very noisy right okay so I have just heat set that so that's now dry so I'm just going to cut off obviously the access tissue paper because we don't need all of that going to get stuck on there wasn't she awesome I like that right okay so let's glue this down then Right, awesome. So that's that part stuck down. So all we need to do is I'm going to have something on that just to kind of weigh it down and make sure that that sticks. And then I need to have an eyelet in here and I'm going to put in that eyelash trim. So while that one's drying, let's have a look at this one. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So we've got the nice lace at the bottom. We've got the bling at the top just to kind of break that up. Um, and then, yeah, this will look great if it's stuck to a page. This could actually be a belly band so you can tuck something behind. Um, yeah, I really, really like that. I think that's so, so pretty. OK, so for the top here, um, where I'm obviously going to have an eyelet, I recently bought this die set, which has... Um, different hole reinforcers and because this one has a stitching around it I'm quite tempted to cut those out and I might use this so that we've got the kind of tape measure in the background as well so I'm going to cut those out and see how they look on here
okay so they turned out pretty cool actually um and it's probably a little bit difficult for you to see so i'm just going to try and lift them up a little bit closer to you whoops but they yeah look really were quite cool so that's what i'm going to use then at the top okay, let's take that off and we've got this one which got the flower on so we could have that one there i mean obviously generally tags aren't quite this large um but i don't know did that still look okay yeah i think so i think i'm going to go for it so what i'm going to do is glue this one down if i can pick it back up these are such a cute little size i really like these it's my first time using them i haven't used them yet um I am a sucker for dyes. I do, I see dyes and then I buy them and I, I have lots of ideas of different projects I want to use them for but then um, they kind of get put away and then I forget all about them so I'm glad I remembered this one. Right, I'm going to punch my hole and then I'm going to stick the re hole reinforcer on the other side. Um, so I'm hoping by punching the hole I'll have a better idea of where it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to line up the hole in my cropper dial and punch. Oh, I wonder if I can use the wider one. See if that's too wide. Let's see. Oh no, that's fine. And then on the other side, now I've got that hole, I should be able to line that up. Brilliant. Okay, let's do that then. Right, okay, so I think inside there I'm going to use a little bit of eyelash trim and um, a little bit of this kind of like thin lace. So I'm going to put them both together and feed those through. Find the hole. Always tricky with eyelash trim. And all of that gets pushed through. Okay, and then we have something that looks like that. I'm just going to trim that one down a bit. Okay, so we've got that one. Well, there we go then. These are all my examples. I really hope that you found some inspiration here and that you would like to have a go at decorating um, a dress for your mannequin as well. So as I said, you can stick this on here and have it then placed into your journal you could use this whole thing as a journaling card if you back it onto maybe some tea stained paper um, you may just not necessarily stick it onto the mannequin you may just have your decorated dress um, stuck into your journal in some way I'm hoping that this video and this challenge will inspire you to be creative and think of different ways that you can use these absolutely go and have a hunt through your stash see what it is you have um, like I said I have always wanted to try this washi tape technique which is why I tried that but you can absolutely just color those in if you do decide that you want to have a little play and have a go at decorating your own dress for your mannequin then you can download the freebies um, as I said either in the line.arrow facebook group which is where the event will be posted or you can get it on my Kofi shop that link will be down below for the black and white dresses, you can get those in the paid kits. Again, I'll have that link down below. For the month of July, while all of this is going on, it will be um, slightly discounted as well. If you do have a play and you post your pictures in the line.arrow Facebook group, please make sure that you use the hashtag so shabby. And then, as I say, at the end of the four weeks, 
I will be doing a winner's drawing. So that's everything from me today. This was the first challenge then for the So Shabby event. I really hope that you take part. I cannot wait to get started on my sewing journal. You'll see more of that though in future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you later now. Bye bye.